How to build a lemon volcano. Why do you need a lemon volcano? Trust us, you definitely need a lemon volcano. Hey, good to see ya. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Eliana. Today we're going to show you how to make the best lemon volcano using common supplies you find in your kitchen. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch this video to the end. You get to see Jonathan get sprayed in the eye by a lemon. Yeah, it was very painful. If you want to follow along at home, here are the ingredients that you need to get together. First, you'll need some lemons. And some baking soda. And a knife. Those three ingredients are pretty much all that you need, but we're going to throw in a few more just to make it a little bit better, make it pop that much more. We're going to add food coloring for color. Dish soap for extra bubblies. And glow sticks for more glow stickiness. Eliana and I are going to be doing this at the same time. I'll be doing it the simple way so you guys can follow along at home. Whereas I am going to try and maximize the volatility of this experiment by using manly power tools. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut off both ends of your lemon and you don't need to cut off a whole lot, just enough for it to sit flat. Right. But make sure you get a parent to help you with the knife so nobody gets hurt. Now for myself, I'm going to be cutting off one side so there's a base, and then going to make, drill a hole in the center. Alright, so next what you'll need is some sort of blunt object so you can mash up the inside of this. Now don't poke down too far or all of the lemon juice will leak out through the bottom. That's right. So while she's mashing that up, I'm going to take my drill and utterly pulverize the insides of this lemon. My way is fast. I'm going to drill two holes so that when I introduce the baking soda in one, it'll spray out the other side and not into my eye like it did the uh, first time that we tried this. <laughs> Choose your weapon. I will choose red. I'm going to choose blue. So we're just going to add a few drops of undiluted food color. Mine's not working. Haha, <laughs> my way is faster. Shut up. Nobody cares what you think. <laughs> You're a girl. <laughs> All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this soap and we're just going to pour some of it on the top there, just like that. There we go. Let's mix okay. that up. Nice. All right, so we took a little break to redo this because Jonathan poked through the bottom of his lemon with his manly drill. It was on purpose. Yeah. Anyways, we're back where uh, we were supposed to be. And we are ready to introduce the base. So the baking soda to our volcanoes. You go ahead there. Now I'm going to be using a syringe so that I can introduce it a little bit easier because I have a smaller opening to go through. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we All are. All right, you go first. Nice. Now just kind of poke it in after you're done there. Should make a nice little Load. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's like not eruption. bad. Let's see what mine does. It's leaking, but not very fast. Ah, oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay. It's coming out. Interesting. Let me see if I can poke this in a bit more. Oh, there cool. Okay, well, yeah, that's neat. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice. Well, let's reset this and then we'll explain exactly why this happens. I'm going to do this experiment again using a new lemon. And while I'm doing this experiment, Eliana is going to ex explain to you exactly why this is taking place. All right. All right. All right. So this lemon volcano erupts because of an acid base reaction. Baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and lemon juice, acetic acid, when combined creates carbon dioxide and water plus a few different types of ions. The acidic acid, a weak acid, reacts with and neutralizes sodium bicarbonate, which is the base. 
The carbon dioxide that is given off is a gas. The carbon dioxide created is responsible for fizzing and bubbling during the eruption. Yeah, and there it goes there. So that is fascinating. The reasons why it works. You know what? I think I can make this a lot cooler, right? Absolutely. All right. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna go scrape out the inside of a lemon first. That's right. Because if we get the pulp out of the way, we can squeeze a bunch of lemons back into that shell of a lemon, and then have a more concentrated solution of acidic acid, so that the reaction will be more volatile. That's right. But I think I know a way to make this even more visually appealing by using glow sticks. That's right. We're gonna cut open a couple of glow sticks here, and we are going to pour them in and see if we can make this actually glow in the dark. So here's the lemon. It's nice and hollowed out. I've also included a small hole at the backside so I can stick the syringe right in there and creates a seal so I can introduce the sodium bicarbonate directly into the solution of acetic acid. Okay, so we've got it ready. We've squeezed a bunch of lemons. We have a lemon full of citric acid here. So next we're going to add the glow sticks. It's important to know that you shouldn't do this, but we are because I think it's going to look cool. But this is mildly toxic, so don't get it on your skin or in your mouth or in your eyes or in your sister's eyes. I just got it on my skin. I'm sure I'm fine. What are warning labels for anyways? They probably just want you to stop having fun. All right, kill the lights! Okay, that's really cool. Hopefully you can see what we're seeing. Okay, now we're going to introduce it here. Are we, got, are we ready? Let's go. Here we go. Woo! So that's definitely fizzing a whole lot. Okay, cool. So it's like a cauldron. Let's pour in a little bit more baking soda. Dump it in there. And stir that up. Very cool. Nice. Hey, thanks for watching. New videos coming out next week. And tune in on Saturday to hear Jonathan talk about the Oort Cloud. Let's go! Ah! Ah! It got me! As you can see, it really Another benefit of this experiment is that uh, you don't need moisturizer for your face. <laughs> you just squeeze lemons on it and it sweats it up for you good. Cut! Good to go, alright. And.